Washington Technology Center manages the largest microfabrication facility in the Northwest. We have a very unique suite of equipment that's here to support very diverse applications. We support academic and industrial researchers from the region as well as uh, across the United States, Canada, and, and uh, points beyond. Companies that are in early stage uh, product development and prototype development come to the facility here to actually build products and devices to prove feasibility of processes, devices, products. The industries that the lab supports include MEMS, nanotechnology, photonics, uh, microfluidics, uh, bio devices. There's a huge amount of diversity in the, in the work that goes on here. The microfab lab is divided up into five discrete process areas. Uh, the photolithography area supports a compact lithography process. In the metrology area, we do the characterization of films and devices and materials in line uh, during processing. Then you move into the thin film processing area where we deposit mostly metals and some dielectric films as well as support the plasma etching of these films and materials. Uh, in the high temp processing area, we support a LPCVD and PECVD process for depositing uh, thin films of dielectrics as well as uh, atmospheric furnace um, for oxidizing silicon and uh, driving different dopants into substrates. In the back end processing, we support several uh, pieces of equipment to enable the packaging of components after they're completed through the uh, microfab lab. When researchers come into the facility to use our processes and equipment, they can um, maintain full control of their intellectual property. When we're going to a foundry, they don't want to um, tell us the details of the process that they're doing. And when we're at WTC, we can know every detail of the process. It's our process, we own it, and we can do whatever changes, make whatever tests that we want to make. They gain the experience of using the equipment, they gain the experience of knowing how a process works, how the equipment's installed, how the equipment's maintained, without having to go through that learning curve themselves independently off in their own facility. The lab gives us the opportunity to do work that we could not otherwise do. Um, the equipment that's available here, uh, the facilities that are available are extremely expensive to put together. So what it has given us is a uh, functional arm to our research division that's enabled us to build prototypes and build significant volumes of prototypes that we can use to prove our ideas, to improve on them, and to end up with a whole lot better uh, a product. Washington Technology Center is also unique in the sense that there are university researchers working side by side with uh, industrial uh, companies. What that gives is both groups benefit immensely from that. One of the, the great benefits of the, of the Technology Center here is that you're able to come in and, and pay a flat fee to gain access to all of the diverse equipment. Um, so you can come in and have access to a, a, you know, a deep plasma etching process, a metal deposition process, photolithography, all of these things together um, versus having to go out and develop foundry partners for each individual process step which often becomes very time consuming, very expensive, and not having it all in one facility is, is uh, obviously much more difficult to control. So there's, there's huge advantages of the, of the cost structure. The bids that we got came in at about 600 and something thousand dollars to do this project at a commercial foundry. And at Washington Technology Center, we think we can do it for $150,000. Having a facility like this around, um, it's immeasurably valuable. Thank you.